Hello, it's Teresa. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. Today, we're going to be making a mini slimline envelope. Um, I recently shared my sheet load of cards for April 2021. It was a mini slimline version card, and I didn't have an envelope for it, so I decided to figure out how to make my own. Um, I did do some research, and I just couldn't find any tutorials out there using the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board or the 123 punch board, which is my preferred way to make envelopes. So through a little trial and error, I figured out how to make my own. Um, so this is a requested tutorial and I'm happy to share with you my process. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is take a sheet of eight and a half by 11. And this is just lightweight cardstock, 65 pound weight. You can use pattern paper or whatever you'd like. I would um, recommend that you steer clear of uh, more heavyweight cardstock, like 110 pound, as it's just going to make your scoring more difficult. We are going to cut this down to eight inches. by eight inches. Next I'm bringing in my We Are Memory Keepers one, two, three punch board. Again, you can use your envelope punch board for this if you prefer. Um, the reason I would rather use my one, two, three punch board is that it has this um, score extending arm. And for this particular project, that makes it a lot easier. But it is achievable on your envelope punch board using the same dimensions that I'm going to be sharing with you now. So we're going to pull out our scoring tool. As you'll notice, if you are using the 123 punch board, you have two scoring tracks, an envelope score line A and an envelope score line B. For our project, we'll be using envelope score line A. And we'll be lining that up in the envelope score groove over here. So we're going to insert our 8x8 eight eight piece of paper or cardstock at 3 inches. Score. I like to score twice to get a nice deep indentation. And then punch. And the reason why you want that nice deep indentation is because when we rotate this, we want it to line up with that groove. And since we can't really see it, you know, just the, the tail end of it here, you can kind of feel it. It just locks into place when it um, seats inside of this groove. So I'm gonna score again and punch. Now this time it will be easier to see what I'm talking about because more of this indentation is exposed. There we go. Score again. Punch. You could also line it up with this little piece and that's what that's made for. Um, however, I find it's most accurate if you can just get it right into that, the score line right into that groove. I'm gonna rotate one more time. Again, lined up with that groove. Score and punch. And that's all that you have to do technically. Um, these next couple steps are optional. Now I like my points rounded, all my corners. So on the back of the 321 punch board, there's a corner rounder made just for that. It's also on the back of your envelope punch board if you're using that instead. Now you really don't have to do this for all four corners, but for me it's just easiest to, you know, it only takes a couple seconds and then I don't have to figure out which ones do and which ones don't need to be rounded. So I just do them all. There we go. Move this out of the way. Now the last step I like to do, if you notice on our finished envelope, it has a flat side right here. And so what I've done, I, I just think that looks neater. Otherwise, you're going to have the envelope almost touching over here, um, you know, that, that rounded corner. And that could be a fun look too, I guess. I don't know, I just preferred this. So what I did is I made a template. Now this template has a flat side and I just line it up like so. Take a pencil. 
make a faint line and then cut that little this little section off right here and it's nice to have a template also because this um, has all my information written on it what the template is for what tool I'm using uh, the dimensions of the paper where I score it and the finished size of the envelope so I would recommend that you make something like that especially if you're going to be mass producing these I think it comes in really handy so now all we have to do is cut off that little corner and this Fiskars trimmer is really nice because it's got that wire right there so I can see exactly where I'm cutting and take everything off including that pencil line so I don't even have to erase. So the last step is just to reinforce our score lines. Get them all burnished down and so if you didn't cut this off flat this is what it would look like which I suppose is kind of cute. I don't know. When it's all folded up, I just didn't wasn't into that look. I thought it looked okay until I folded these in, and I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, see? I mean, you just got points going in all directions, and I just, I thought it looked cleaner and more professional to have it like that. So, whichever you like. Just showing you the way that I prefer. I'm going to take some art glitter glue. You can use the adhesive of your choice. I'm just putting it right on the edge here. And then I'm going to put a little down here just to make sure it's nice and secure. Go over that with my bone folder. Then I'm going to also secure the bottom. And I always like to reinforce everything with my bone folder, the creases, and my glue just to make sure everything is nice and stuck down and looks very crisp and clean. And that is it. We have our envelope. Now, if I were mass producing these, I would probably go through and put some double-sided tape right here. So all I would have to do is peel and stick when I want to uh, pop this in the mail. But let me show you. I'm going to bring in our card. You can see that it's definitely going to fit nicely inside. Just pop it in. And there you have a really nice presentation. This little mini slimline envelope. I mean, these cards are so popular right now, the size of card. Um, I think I will be mass producing a bunch of these just to have in my stash. It's quick and easy and very inexpensive. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Also, ring the notification bell so that you can be notified the next time I release a video. Until we meet again, bye.